hey what's going on guys let's look at this problem right here here this question is asking find h at the center c of an equilateral triangular loop of side 4 meter carrying 5 ampere of current as seen figure okay here we the question is asking for the h that is magnetic field intensity now to find this one let's look at the orientation here they are saying this is an equilateral triangular so equilateral triangular triangle mean we can obtain this all of this magnetic field intensity by adding all of these sides together so we can say h is equal to since we have three side h1 plus h2 plus h3 so here h1 is the magnetic field intensity due to the side 1 and side 2 and h2 is for side 2 and h3 is for side 3 okay and here they are saying equilateral triangle mean all the sides are equal therefore the magnetic field intensity will have the same value so we can say h1 is equal to h2 that's equal to h3 so instead of writing h1 h2 h3 we can write 3 h1 because all of, if we replace all the h2 h3 with one h1 because since they are equal h is going to be 3 h1 okay now this is the first thing we have to know now let's go ahead and redraw the triangle because I'm going to take this inside we are interested in finding the the H at the center C so this is C here right so we are interested in finding the magnetic field in intensity at that point now let's go ahead and do that okay let's draw the diagram here what I'm going to do I'm going to draw that one inside inside create an inside triangle to obtain some angles and we are going to and this is exactly at the center so when we redraw this one we are going to have something like this okay So this is, okay, let's draw the small triangle, let's draw with a different color. So this is at the center, okay, so this is 2, 2, and this is 30 degree, and this is also 30 degree and then this is 150 degree and this is also 150 degree and the current is flowing like this 5 ampere this is point C ok let's go ahead and do the calculations now here we have this one ok let's say take the side one now the H1 if I take pick up a side, let's say H1, H1 can be calculated using this formula 4 phi rho, actually 1 over 4 phi rho. One over four phi rho cos alpha two. Okay, let's call this inside alpha two and the outside alpha one. So cos alpha 2 minus cos alpha 1 A phi. Okay, so this is the equation we have. Now we have to find out what is the cos alpha 2, alpha 1, and also we have to know what this distance rho is. Okay. Now cos alpha 2, alpha 2 angle is 30 degree. So if alpha 2 is equal to 30 degree, then cos alpha 2 is going to be root 3 by cos 30 okay, cos 30 degree which is root 3 by 2 okay then alpha 1 is 180 minus 30 we already know that it's going to be 150 right 150 mean cos alpha 1 is going to be negative of this value we are going to have negative root 3 by 2 so we have cos alpha 2 cos alpha 1 and uh, we have to find out what is rho is in order to do this one we can take uh, tan theta tan theta is going to be opposite of adjacent we know the adjacent is true opposite is the rho we understand it 
Now let's go ahead and use the different color. So here we can say 10, 30 degree, 30 degree is equal to rho divided by 2. Therefore rho is equal to 2 tan 30, which is equal to 2 over root 3. And also to find the direction, a phi, if you take the vector along the negative y axis, negative ay cross ac, that's going to give us negative ax. So this is going to be the direction we have right now. So we have all this information. All we have to do is just plug it in the, this equation. Okay, we have the direction, cos alpha 2, cos alpha 1, and also we have the row. Okay, let's continue. Let's get rid of this picture. Okay, let's continue here. Okay, so here we have all this information and we have this equation. H1 is equal to 1 over 1 over 4 phi rho. Rho we calculated to be 2 over root 3. 2 over root 3. Actually this one is i over. So this one we know the current is 5 ampere. 5 here. Okay. 5 ampere and then cos alpha 2. Cos alpha 2 we calculated that is root 3 by 2. Cos alpha 1 is negative of this one because 150 mean negative of that one. So that's going to be negative root 3 by 2. And then the direction we found out that's negative ax direction. Negative ax direction. Okay. Now we have all this information. After you simplify, you will get something like this. You will get 0 0.5. 5968 in the negative ax direction but this is for h1 but we found out this is an equilateral triangle so all the side the magnetic field intensity all the side are going to be due to all the side are going to be equal we just looked at one side right so all we have to do is just multiply this one by 3 because we know that h1 is equal to h2 h2 is equal to h3 and the total magnetic field intensity is H1 plus H2 plus H3. We did a, we put it here already. This means H1 is equal to, actually H is equal to 3H1, which is equal to 3 times 0 0.5968 in the negative AX. And that's going to give us what? We are going to have negative 1.79 AX ampere per meter. And this is going to be the final magnetic field intensity due to all three sides. Okay, at the center C of an equilateral triangle loop. Okay, I hope this helps. Thanks for watching.